it going guys, Sharplocks here. In this video, we're going to be playing Roblox, but everything was made in Microsoft Paint. This is gonna be really weird. I found a load of games over on the Roblox website, which were pretty much all built using Microsoft Paint. So what they've done is they've drawn kind of decals in uh, Microsoft Paint, and they've basically put them into the Roblox game, and it kind of covers everything. So it really does look like the game is completely drawn. And these games are made by a kind of famous Roblox user called TinfoilBot. He was kind of one of the first Roblox YouTubers ever. This guy used to make videos back in 2011. I used to watch him when I was a kid and yeah, his channel was very funny and his games were very funny as well. So I thought we should check them out for this video. But before we go and check out his actual games, I need to make my Roblox character into a paint character. So what I've done is I've gone into Microsoft Paint and I've created my own custom shirt and pants. So check this out guys, here is the shirt. Now paint is very basic, so you can literally draw some funny designs. And um, as you can see, I made like a necklace here, like a chain necklace. I've got a skull, I've got my curse logo. And yeah, I think it looks quite funny actually. Um, the funny thing is back in like 2012, I didn't know how to use Photoshop. So I literally used to make Roblox clothes in paint and they would be absolutely terrible just like this. And I also ended up making some pants as well. So I've got some classic vans with a red stripe. I don't think these ones went as bad. So what I'm gonna do now is let's go onto the Roblox website and let's create my paint character. So I've already uploaded them. If you guys wanna buy these, maybe I'll put them on sale. I'm not too sure, they are a bit weird. But let's go ahead and let's equip it. Let's also just put my skin tone on. And guys, the funny thing about paint is you can't use transparent effects. So what you have to do is kind of like color the hands in like to your skin tone. So yeah, it's really funny. But let's put the head on. Actually, that's not too bad at all. I think that looks quite funny actually. Um, it definitely looks like it was made in paint. Well, obviously it was, so yeah, it's quite cool. Um, what do we need? Do we need to hair um, I'm gonna make my character look as basic as possible I can't really do a paint face I guess I could edit the face but I think it's okay just as it is uh, now we need a hat as well where is my beanie let's go ahead and stick that on where is it somewhere in my inventory uh, there it is, the Italian ski cap. I like this one, it looks pretty cool. And um, I think what we should do is put Tin Foil Bot's famous gear on, also known as the Egg Basket, which used to be a free Builders Club item. So there you go, guys. There is my paint avatar. I actually quite like that. It looks quite funny. So let's go ahead, let's have a look at Tin Foil Bot's profile, and let's, pay and let's play some Roblox games that were made in paint. So here is Tinfoil Bot. As you can see, I did kind of copy his style a bit here, um, but I think that kind of works well with the games. And this guy's games are hilarious. He actually made all of the kind of like drawings and like decals and assets that he actually ended up putting into his games. So Santa's Boat Ride, this one looks really creepy actually. Is that like a clay model that he made or something? Um, but yeah, it's really funny. We've got Ghost Train. Um, as you can see, he literally drew all of this stuff. Even though it looks funny, the amount of work that must have went into these games is is absolutely insane. Um, what is this? Scary stream. I think you can win badges on this. I think I played this quite a while ago. Let's go and play this and let's see what this game's about. Okay, here we are on the scary boat ride. And I think the audio is broken on this game. It's really weird. It's like his voice repeating over and over again. And yeah, his, his voice is pretty strange, I have to admit. So what have we got? We've got some, wait, got building tools. Oh, I see, right. So what you've got to do is you've got to build your own boat. Um, so actually we should probably start again. So does the boat move? Wait, what? Why doesn't the boat move? Um, this game is quite old, I think. Is it 2011? So, oh, there you go. We've got a boat moving now. There you go. Got a little blue boat right here. Let's just use this. So I think what we've got to do is make our way through the scary cave. And as you guys can see by all of this stuff, like the spider and the skeleton, he's literally made all of it. And yeah, the amount of effort is really cool. Actually, this guy might be a badge here. I think I... Oh, maybe it's not. Unless there's a way to get in there. I did. I have played this when I was a kid, so I do kind of remember it a bit. Um, but yeah, let's just go through the game. Warning, you are now entering the Nemesis Cave, which inside has scary souls of ghosts. Viewer discretion advised. Ooh, sounds pretty creepy. Ooh, we've got some creepy characters in here. Let's go and hop back on our boat. Uh, but yeah, these games are really cool. I generally used to like this quite a lot. And um, I never really made a, my own character in paint. Well, I did, but I didn't make it kind of funny like this. But yeah, I'm impressed with that. That is actually not too bad at all, is it? Uh, but let's go through the game. Oh, we've got some creepy bear up here as well. Wait, we've won already? Was that the whole boat ride? Well, it looks like we've got a badge. 
Congratulations, you have won and got past the entire whole game. You get a badge for winning. Please also do rate my game up. <laughs> okay, so let's collect the badge. Sometime you also can meet me in game. Yeah, as you can see, uh, this game clearly was a joke. If you guys read more about him, um, people suspect that kind of like one of the Roblox interns was behind this. Uh, was it like Merely or Mech Waffle, something like that? Oh, we've got Fly Tool. Which, wait, is this like the really old fly tool? Does it still work? It's, pro it's proper glitching up, isn't it? That is really weird. So I don't know how we get the other secret badges. Obviously, you guys can test this out for yourself and you can try and get them. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think what we should do now is play one of his other games, which he also designed in paint. I think his ghost train does look pretty good. Let's go and play this and see what it's about. Oh, it's another scary game. Warning, this game has got scenes in it that may scare people. Please play under your own risk. Oh, we've got an award already for joining the game. So if you guys want some Roblox badges, these games are pretty good to play. Enjoy your trip if you dare. What is this supposed to be? Like, the Grim Reaper that's turned into a bear? I don't know. Oh, this one does look creepy. How do we work it? There you go. Let's go. Oh, it's the Twilight Zone or something. As you know, it's not, it's just a haunt. Oh, this is quite cool, actually. Ha ha ha, hello. Oh, he's not too scary at all, is he? Actually, these sounds are very good on this. The skeleton even had, like, a hello voice on it. I definitely recommend playing these games. They're, even though they look quite funny, they're really, really well made. Well, that's not too scary, is it? They're celebrating someone's... Oh, is it the ghost's second birthday? Oh, we're not welcome, so it's not really a good party for us. That guy's got a mobile phone behind his back. Oh, this is one of the badges, isn't it? Ah, oh, damn, my cart's gone. Ah, oh, damn. Alright, um... Shall I just run up? I swear that zombie thing was one of the badges. That's why I tried to jump out to get it. But what I didn't realise... I didn't realise if I jumped out, my cart would disappear. Wait, what? I don't understand. I, s I swear it said zombies was a badge. Yeah, it's right there. Wait, hang on. Is there a secret opening right there? Oh, we found it. We got the secret badge. There you go. Let's go. Just noticed that. Well, our cart seems to have gone, but it looks like our walking speed is more fast than actually going in the car. Wow, look at this. This is crazy. This is like some whole park scene with a bridge. Wait, there's someone drowning. That's Tinfoil Bot. He's drowning in the water. Oh, there's another secret badge. Should we get it to sacrifice the car? Oh, I want it. I want these secret badges. What's this one? Happy Sun Award. Wow, this is really cool. He's literally put so much effort into creating this whole place. So, are we nearly finished the badge hunt now? What's this? Tenfold bot prototype? Let's see. Let's just walk through this door and let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. They're all the funny clothes he's made as well. They're pretty cool. Ad space. Oh yeah, if you guys don't know, um, back in like Roblox around this time, um, people would always um, like put adverts in other people's games, like they'd just put like a decal and stuff. I think it started off in Trade Hangout, maybe not. What's the Grim Reaper saying? Hello, my name is Rolly Polly Reaper and this is my minion Crispy. Oh, Crispy got burnt earlier though, didn't he? He got set on fire. If you guys want to play this, read the whole story, go ahead. I'm more interested in like the MS Paint kind of like aspect of the game and how they made it hang on what's this oh, i thought we we're gonna fall down there so what we're gonna do we're gonna do a cart ride into the roly-poly reaper's face and then um it might be the end of the game i probably will check out some of his other games as well uh, because he has got some really cool stuff on his profile he did do like a whole series called like the dark orb or something and i think a few people did copy him and also did ms paint games um but this this guy is like down, hands down the best guy for designing ms paint stuff and there you go we won so that is it the ghost train really cool i didn't include all of the ghost train scenes in this video so i didn't want to spoil it if you guys want to play it and you know see some unique parts for yourself but i guess we can have another look at his profile and we can see some of the other stuff he's made so here's the um, the Dark Orb thing I was talking about. But I think to finish off this video, we're probably going to play the boat ride. The Dark Orb, I actually used to play those, but they did take quite a long time to complete. Oh, we got another badge. And yeah, this is a Christmas game. So playing a Christmas game in, what is it, now February? A bit weird. <laughs> but let's just play this and see what happens. Hello, user base. I'm Santa. 
Who's user base? Oh look, there's a rare badge right at the start of the game and you guys know how much I love rare badges. Does the ground kill us, do you think? Maybe I should stand on the ice blocks. Oh no, it doesn't. It's just ice. Oh, there's actually a track on the floor as well. <laughs> He's bungee jumping. North Pole, Frosty the Snowman. Ooh, that guy looks really creepy. I like the penguins on the wall. They look amazing. Wait, this obby, this like, no, not obby. This cart ride is literally the easiest cart ride I've ever played. But there you go. Looks like we've won. We found Santa's house, got a badge. And wait, what? Santa is eating another Santa alive? Click here. This is really, really creepy. Actually, you guys should check this out. But yeah, guys, I guess that is pretty much it for this video. This is what it looks like if you make a Roblox game in Microsoft Paint. It's very funny and it takes a lot of effort, but they do look quite cool in their own unique way. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.